Hey everyone, it's Lindsay right here, and today I have a very, very simple but beautiful prom hair tutorial. So all you're gonna need for this is a curling wand. This is by Remington. Um, some flattening, not flattening, but um, heat protectant spray. This is a flat iron spray, but it's still the same. Um, some hair spray. This is by Suave. It's actually a really cheap alternative to some really good hairspray. Um, lots of bobby pins. And then, this is optional, but I think it'd be beautiful. Um, a flower or some kind of hair accessory. Oh, and a little rat tail comb or a teasing comb. So, first what you want to do is you're just going to take your heat protectant spray. You're just going to spray this mostly on the ends and then on your bangs. Just going to get that through a hair. And if your hair is already kind of wavy, then you don't really need to worry about curling your hair. So you can totally skip this section if you want to. And my hair is kind of already in waves, so I'm not going to do a whole bunch. But first, I'm going to start with my bangs. I'm just going to wrap that around. And I do have it on the lowest setting, which is 266 degrees. So, um, if you like to have it on a hotter setting, that's totally fine. You just want most of the curls to be around your face, because everything else will be pulled up. So we're just going to get this other section right here. And this is second day hair, so um, it is going to kind of mold a little bit better, but it'll work just as well if you just washed it today. So now I'm just going to do this section right here really quickly. And you can use a regular curling iron if you want to, um, depending on how you want the curls to look. I kind of want them to be a little bit more spiral, kind of simple looking. Okay, so now we're just going to take your hairspray and we're going to spray that down. And this hairspray seriously smells amazing. Like, and it was only $2 I believe, so it's pretty cheap to me. Okay, so once that's kind of sprayed down, I'm going to make sure those curls are going to hold. We're going to take our little rat tail comb, and we're going to just start teasing the bangs. Kind of get some lift in there. And then we're kind of going to brush that down. Do it on this side. And we're also going to work on the crown and if your hair doesn't tease really well you can spray some hairspray to kind of really lock that in my hair teases pretty well so I'm just going to go around the crown um, you can do the whole head if you want to but I don't really recommend doing that because I'm going to do as less damage as we possibly can the least damage we can possibly can Okay, this last section, it's going to kind of tease that on up. Okay, now you're just going to smooth that out. Make sure it doesn't look like a rat's nest. <clears throat> okay, so now on to the fun part. You're going to, if you want to leave your bangs out, you can. I think I'm going to leave a little bit out just to kind of frame my face. We flip it out like that. And we're gonna start from this side. You can do either side you want. And I'm gonna get a section about this big. It's about two inches or so. Two or three inches big. And I'm gonna split this in half like this. And now I'm gonna twist it like this. So now that the one that was on top is on the bottom now. I'm going to pick 
some hair from the bottom up and then twist and then do it to the other section, pick some up and twist. Let me turn around so you can see. Okay. <laughs> pick some up and twist. Now this does not have to be perfect. We're kind of going for that messy kind of pretty look. So you can do it as perfect as you want or as messy as you want. So keep doing that. Pick up and twist. I'm going to turn around. And now we only have about one section left of hair. So you can either leave that section out or you can pick it up. I'm going to pick a little bit of it up. So I'm going to split that in half. Or maybe I'll just pick it all up. Why not? And now we're all just going to twist the hair like this. And we're going to take some bobby pins. Now if you're using a hair accessory, that's going to cover that. You don't really need to hide the bobby pins because the hair accessory will be hiding them. But if you don't, then you might need to work on hiding your bobby pins, which are kind of hard, but if you have ones that match your hair color, then that works better. Okay, so it's gonna look just like that. And now, this is pretty much the easiest part. You're gonna take your flower and then stick it right on top of that and there we go have a little bit of spray and the look is done it's very simple but very classic and kind of effortless so the back looks just like this and um, I hope this helped you guys if you're trying to save time and money on a really good hairstyle for a prom then I recommend trying this out. I will have other prom tutorials up soon so um, look out for those and I hope you have a wonderful time at your prom. I know I will and um, I will see you guys in the next video. Bye!